a car and a delivery truck both start from rest and accelerate at the same rate. However, the car accelerates for twice the amount of time as the truck. What is the travel distance of the car compared to the truck? Once again, we're going to pick out our given information. So it states that both of the objects start from rest, which is shown here. V0 of each is equal to 0 meters per second. Also, it states that they accelerate at the same rate. So the A for each is the same as shown in the diagram here. However, the car accelerates for twice the amount of time as the truck. Now they want to know what is the travel distance of the car compared to the truck. So now in order to calculate the travel distance, we have to deal with one of the kinematics equations that deals with initial velocity, initial position, time, acceleration, and our unknown of x. The equation that fits this criteria is x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. Now we know that we're going to do this for, say, the truck first. We know that its initial position is zero, so we can ignore that. And its initial velocity is also zero, so we can ignore that. So we see that the distance the truck goes is equal to one half a t the truck travels for squared. Now, let's do the car. So if we do it for the car, we get x of the car is equal to x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. Now, if we do that, uh, our initial position for the car is also zero meters. Its initial velocity is also zero meters per second, so we can ignore that. So we see that the distance the car travel is equal to one half a t of the car squared. But we know that the time that the car is traveling for is twice that of the truck. So two times t truck squared times a divided by half. If we now calculate all those out, we would see that the distance the truck goes is one half a t truck squared and x of the car is equal to one half a times four t truck squared. Now you see that the distance the car goes is four times the distance of the truck. So the answer is D. The trick here is when you're squaring this, don't forget you have to square both parts. The two has to be squared and also the time that the truck travels for. That's where you get 4 and t truck squared. And that's why when we calculate this out, we show that this, which is 1 half a t truck squared, is the same as this of our x car. So x car is simply 4 times x of t truck. We're just simply taking this value here and subbing it into this equation here as x truck. So that's where we get x car is four times the distance that the truck traveled.